Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to make video specific page and to mention another thing I just added here I just you know renamed the on mouse leave to on mouse out because the on mouse leave was just having few you know previews still play, being played if I just move a mouse a little bit more faster around stuff like that but I don't uh, you know found a bug with the on mouse out as far as I tried it, I tried to you know poke a lot, a lot of random videos. Okay, except okay, it, it we can still find the bug anywhere, something like this. And I don't know what we can do about it, because we're just calling a lot of damn functions, right? So we we'll, we can have one choice though. We can have one choice though. So maybe we'll add some kind of you know delay kind of thing we'll say the mouse needs to be over that thing for a minimum of 500 milliseconds like a half a second and once the mouse is over something and for a half a second continuously then I want to have the preview be played because that thing is just going to make sure that we just don't randomly poke millions you know thousands of functions at a time just going to throw those hovering over thousands of videos right Maybe, maybe we can try one thing though. We can just try so like on mouse enter. We're just calling the preview start and on mouse thing. We're just calling video preview stop. Right. Video preview manager. if element type element type if type is going to be equal to start or I'm just saying type is being equal to start then I want to show these things else if type is being equal to Stop that on these things. If type is being equal to start, then we're going to do these things. Else, if type is being equal to stop. I don't want to do these things. We have your video manager, video preview manager. E and the one. So I'm getting the type. We'll just say by default type is going to be zero. I can just say if type is one, then do this. Otherwise, do something else. Why do something else? Because and when we're stopping the thing, we are not calling. We basically are not just calling. We're just basically not mentioning the one or the type itself. So by default, taking the type as zero, and then do the things. Yeah, it's working the same way as we expected it to. Now we're gonna add a little bit of logic here. Uh. Let 
timer is going to be set timeout. Five hundred seconds, no five hundred milliseconds. If type is equal to in, left timer is equal to set timeout. I want to set this timer, okay? Normally, saying something like, yeah, timer is going to be this thing, blah blah stuff like that. If type is not there, I want to say first of all, clear timeout over timer and do the things. Okay. But this is assuming it to just do what if type is defined. Then you should by default, you know, set this timer. And if it's the type is not defined, we're just going to clear the interval timeout anyway. Okay. Seems good to me. We need to set this thing for the image also. So let me say copy everything we have in here. If type is not defined, I want to say clear timeout. The timer is going to be set timeout. Function of one second. Does it work? Of course it does. Well, well, that's not what I want to happen. So basically, if I leave the thing, the mouse out is just calling this type is not defined. Clear timeout. Uh, are we even calling the clear time or thing? We did call for clear time, but it's still, you know, doing its thing. Oh, I get it. I get it now. So basically, if the timeout is, if we are just moving our mouse out, it's just still going to, you know, set up another function for set timeout. More like a double double functions. Which means one of the f uh, set timeout function will run eventually. And then that will we get something like this. To prevent this problem, we'll just say uh, let time timer is equal to this variable timer.
if type is defined then at that time maybe I want to call it otherwise I don't Let timer goes like that. We don't we don't have to define it anywhere else. Let's refresh. Place the video. I hover like that. Place all of them. Well, bugs, bugs, bugs. Life is a bug. Life is a bug. Okay, let me just think about thinking about this thing and we'll come back. Okay, guys. So what I did right now. I'm just defining this variable the timer at the very at the you know outside the function itself and saying variable timer is equal to this. Or we're gonna say let timer is equal to an empty something. Okay, and see you can define it and we can say by default it's going to be null. Okay. And then what are we what are we doing here? We're just going if the type is defined, then I wanna just run uh, I just wanna add this timer. I would say I wanna assign some value to the timer. I would say time is equal to set timeout and the function stuff like that. But if it's not, I first of all want to, you know, clear the timeout. If there's any time in it, there are any set timeouts, you know, running here, I just want to clear them so this thing never runs, shows up. And then I want to just do like this. I'll just return all the things back. Here, this statement is very useful for now, for us, for right now, because I know the previous, there are not going to be no previous siblings as we never went back, as we do, we're still here, okay? Something like that. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty much is for us something like that, but I mean, yeah, it's gonna be is is what it is. We're just doing the same thing for the uh, timer here, just a little bit, little bit different, you know, uh, uh, implementation here. Actually, not implementation. We're just having here the next sibling in the in the in. We're just having the next sibling and uh, different double things. So. In this one we need to access two parent elements and then the next one. If the type is just uh, if the element type is just div, then we only have to access the next sibling. So kind of like the same. Both will work the good way. If I try to restart this thing or try to do whatever, it doesn't really matter. Now if I hover over this, nothing is going to be played. I hover over it for like a second, and they're going to start playing. Now I will do this thing again that I, with that test we did before. I'm playing everyone. Nothing is being played. That's great. Only if I hover it for, over it for more than one second, then it's going to be played. Well, exactly like what we want in our YouTube application. Well, that was it for this video. In the next video, we're going to do much more stuff. We're actually going to, uh, you know, make a product-specific page. And I will see the next one. Have a nice day.